hello first grade is Mrs. Freudenberg again. Um, so today for social studies, you have, are going to reread your story, which you guys um, have already read. So it's about holidays and heroes, which it's so cool, isn't it? Gosh, history is amazing. It's so amazing. Um, and we can learn so much from it. Because they always say that history repeats itself. And right now, it kind of sounds like we're back in 1912. The Spanish flu. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, that was just a tangent for Mrs. Freudenberg. I'm so sorry. Um, so what you're going to do today is you're going to reread that story again. And then you're going to turn to page 134 and 135. And it's talking about how to read a calendar. Okay? So... You might see a calendar in so many different ways. You might have a calendar um, that is hanging up in your house, like a paper calendar. You might have a calendar kind of like what our family has. It's a whiteboard calendar that's magnetic and onto the fridge. Um, there's so many different ways to have a calendar. Maybe mom and dad are super smart and they have their Google calendars on their phones. And so they can see um, what's going on with all the different activities that you guys might have. Um, today, what I'm going to do is I will take a picture and I'm going to upload it onto Google Classroom, but this is what your worksheet would have looked like today. Um, and we would have, you, you would have done it by yourself because it's fourth quarter. It's almost, it's halfway through the fourth quarter, first graders. Um, so you guys would have been doing this on your own in class. Oh, I wish we could be together. Oh my gosh, I miss you guys. So what you're going to do is, um, you're just going to write down the answers to one, two, three, and four. There's only four questions, okay? And you're just answering the questions about the calendar. So when you look in your calendar on your paper, this is what it's going to look like in your book on page 135. It's going to be about the month of February, okay? And we all know that there is a certain month or a certain holiday in this month, okay? Usually involves a bunch of hearts and... Cupid and love and all that good stuff. Do you guys know what holiday I'm talking about? Right, Valentine's Day. Good job. So the first question it's going to ask you is, what month does this page show? Okay, so let me get, oh, sorry, let me get my book back out again. The calendar always, always, always shows the month at the top of the page. Now, it's not always specifically in the middle like this one is. It could be off to the left or to the right. It could be off to the left. Sometimes that's just how calendars are. There are some calendars where it's at the bottom, but usually it's not how it goes. Usually it's at the top. So if I were to look at this and ask the question, what month is this? You would automatically go February, Mrs. Freudenberg, because you can read that. Okay. Then what you're going to do next, the next question it says is, how many days are in February? Now, we talked about this when we were in school, and this year was a special year. And we said it only happens every four years. We talked about it with Mystery Doug, too, um, that it is a leap year. So that means February this year had 29 days, when in actuality, every other th or three years prior to that, February only has 20 days. Eight days. Good job. You got me. Okay. So when asked the question on this specific calendar, it's going to say how many days are in this month? 28. Okay. You guys can read that. You'll look at it. Um, and then the next question it's going to ask you is name the birthdays in February. Now, I don't know why but I always remember February 22nd is George Washington's birthday. And I think it's because um, there was a kid I went to grade school with. His birthday was on the 22nd. And then my sister's roommate from college, her birthday was on February 22nd. And I don't know why I always remember that. But there are quite a few birthdays. So if you look at your book with me, on February 4th is Rosa Parks' birthday. And we remember Rosa Park as the lady who um, sat on the bus and said, hey, it's not fair that blacks and whites can't sit together or be together or do anything together. She was the lady that started that movement. We talked about that um, earlier before school was out. 
uh, February 11th, which is my husband's birthday, um, is also Thomas Edison's birthday. And you guys read a story not too long ago in reading about Thomas Edison, and he was the creator of the light bulb. Way to go. Then the next day, February 12th, is Abraham Lincoln's birthday. And then we move on. On February 15th is Susan B. Anthony's birthday. And then we look down below that, and on February 22nd, 22nd is George Washington's birthday. So there are quite a few um, very important people in history um, whose birthdays are in February. And then it says, on what day of the week is each birthday? And you guys can go ahead and tell that to whoever you are with. Um, and then I want you to find the date February 24th. And I want you to tell your parent or your big sister or brother, whoever you are with, um, that date, so February 24th, and then you can use this year, 2020. And then I want you to tell me what the day was yesterday, so the day before February 24th, and the day after February 24th, okay? Um, and that is what you guys are going to do today for social studies. Um, also, another great thing to do is a long time ago, back in November, we made our um, Veterans Day booklets and it had all the branches of the military. Remember, we would we listened to the song of each military branch and then we colored that page. If you know where that's at, that would be a great thing to go take out and take a look at too. Okay, um, good luck with this. Have fun.